So, Chono, a great ending to today's match. Just talk us through your overall thoughts. I thought today was a very similar game to Tuesday night. You know, we're very gutsy, gritty, determined performance by us. Um, always a tough place to come against a full-time time, time team. For the first half, we battled really well, but in possession we weren't too good on the ball. Second half a little bit better, but overall absolutely delighted with the 1-0 victory. Not conceding again, so that's two games in a row we had conceded. And um, I thought the work rate from all the players who started and the players who came on was exceptional. I thought, you know, it was a real squad performance. Um, it's always good to see everybody celebrating a goal, even the lads on the bench and the lads who have been left out. So uh, overall, absolutely delighted with the whole day. You know, one 0 away from home against a very good team, um, and um, we knew it was going to be difficult. So yeah, delighted. Yeah, and two clean sheets since Quarter joined us. How important was that signing for you? Yeah, well, it was massive um, when we brought him in because obviously Big Will was injured, and hopefully she'll be back in a couple of weeks, like I mentioned last week. But we needed to, to get some bodies in. You know, we had we didn't have a clean sheet. I don't think since November. So. We were trying to uh, look at that area and when Quartz came available, um, I've known him for a long time, he's, he's, a, he's a good communicator, a good organiser, a good leader um, and I think he's fitted in really well with the boys, you know, um, he's slotted in with the lads in training, um, it seems like he's been here a while so um, delighted to have him on board and for the back four today were excellent, you know, Keyser, Quartz, Bales and Burks, especially second half when they put us under a little bit of pressure. Um, they dealt with everything, and um, we're, we're, we look we look we look solid today. And like I said, two clean sheets in two games since he's come in, so he'll be really pleased. And hopefully, we should have big Will back as well in a couple of weeks as well. So um, more strength and depth, more quality, and um, you know um, more options for us as a coaching staff to change shape in the games and stuff like that. So um, yeah, really delighted. Yeah, and we've got a week and a half off now. What's your plans for preparing the boys? Yeah, we'll prepare like we always do. You know, we always look at the next game. Next game's Farsley at home. Um, they'll probably want to come and put a good performance on against us. We beat them earlier in the season at their place, and we we'll probably give them a good, um, good battering really on that day. So they'll be coming to prove a point. So we'll train Tuesday like we know we're doing train Thursday and prepare the team ready for for a tough game at home. Um, hopefully, loads of fans will come and support us and get the boys going because you know. We've had a couple of good results, strong performances, and um, they can help us uh, put a good performance and get three points against Fars. They keep pushing us up that league. You know, the aim is to be as high as we can can be by the end of the season. And um, just said to the boys in there, just need to keep pushing week by week, you know, game by game. Take take, take each game as it comes and um, try and get a good performance that gets the right result like today. And um, I think if we can do that, we can, we can stay in the playoffs. And, you know, try and aim as high as we can, and uh, that's what everybody wants to do: is finish as high up the table as we can. Yeah. And lastly, any messages for the 108 travelling fans today? Yeah, absolutely amazing. You know, the support has all seasons has been absolutely fantastic. You know, the boys giving a clap at the end. Um, it's a long, it's a long way to travel on the day, so I think there's been train strikes as well today. So, absolutely brilliant for them travelling down today. So, I wish them a safe journey home. Thank you. No all right.